This video is based on the 12 principles of animation as described by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. Alright, the last principle of animation is called appeal. Basically, characters that you animate should be somewhat pleasing to look at. They should have some kind of charismatic aspect to like about them. This doesn't only apply to the hero of the story, but also the villain and every other character. Appeal doesn't always mean good looking, it can also mean interesting. So the villain should be likable in the sense that they are interesting to look at. The tricky thing about this is that everyone has a different standard for what is appealing. However, just giving your character a dynamic design can greatly boost its appeal. Here are three steps to doing that. First, use a variety of shapes. Instead of using the same shape for every character, try out different shapes, because there's no limit to the spectrum of crazy configurations that characters can have. Every good character design starts with a clear shape. Second, play with proportions. Cartoonists often magnify the things we find interesting and shrink the things we might find ugly or boring. For example, they might enlarge the head and eyes, shrink the body, and make the hands larger. Finding the aspect of a character that defines his or her personality and blowing it up can often create a more appealing design. Third, keep it simple. Too much information can overcomplicate the character and also make it harder and more restraining to animate. This is the difference between drawing for illustration and drawing for animation. With animated characters, you have to pick and choose what details to keep because you're going to be drawing those details hundreds of times. So let's give some characters an appeal makeover. This king has a generic shape and not much personality. Let's make him more like an egg. Now his appeal comes from looking proud, powerful, and petite. This robot mercenary has too many details to see any personality. Let's pick a few details and emphasize them, remove the rest, and change his shape. Now he has a mysterious appeal to him. This fisherman looks pretty average. Let's adjust his proportions to emphasize his lankiness and make that his point of appeal. So that's all I've got for appeal, and that brings us to the end of our 12-part series. So I thank you for watching it. I had a lot of fun making it, and I actually learned a lot about animation too. I do plan to continue making these videos, and next I will be covering walk and run cycles. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.